Hey there, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Um, today we are going to be going over my fountain pen collection and uh, I have a couple of them laid out here um, and then the rest are over in cases over there. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with how I house my fountain pens. So I have three different cases that I use to hold my fountain pens. Um, this one's brand new, so I'll talk about it last. Um, and this one's the oldest one. So this one sort of opens up like that and is by the brand Smart Lit Lab. L-I-H-I-T Lab. Cordondura. I honestly don't know. Um, but it I used to keep all of my fountain pens in here and then they sort of outgrew it and I started getting fancier fountain pens. And so I got this guy right here. Um, this one I got off of Amazon for about $20. Um, and it was the only thing that I could find that was not leather. Um, if you're new around here, I don't use leather because I'm vegan and there's a whole nother story, whole story behind that if you'd like me to tell that in some other video. But for now, we're just going to say that I am, I avoid leather. Um, so this was the only pen case that I could find that didn't use leather, and, and that was canvas. Um, so it opens up like this, holds my pens like that, and then over here. Um, and so it keeps them nice and um, protected. And then, and then the last little case that I have for my fountain pens is this little guy that I got off of Etsy that is actually a traveler's notebook insert, but I found that it fit one or two fountain pens perfectly. And I love it because um, it's adorable and I just like, it's my little protector for my fountain pen. Um, and I'll show you which one is in here later on. Um, so I'm going to start off by telling you about my first ever fountain pen. Um, this was a college graduation gift from my parents from Montegrippa. Um, I don't know the exact model of it, um, but it's an Italian brand and it's this beautiful, like, it's this beautiful, like, shimmery resin material. Um, I don't use it that frequently um because a it's just so gorgeous i don't want to ruin it um and b this little top came off and it used to be this little gorgeous like m from montegrippa i believe um and it came off and i've been meaning to send it into montegrippa to get it replaced um but i just haven't figured out how to do that safely um, so it's sort of just sitting here waiting to get sent back um, to Montegrippa um, because in order to get their pins replaced, you have to send it back to Italy, and I just haven't had the chance to do that. So I'm sort of going to go in chronological order here, um, at least for the first couple, um, because the second fountain pen that I got is not this exact one, but another charcoal Lamy Safari. Um, I got it in the fine nib. Um, after I got that other fountain pen for graduation, I decided that I wanted to use fountain pens for everything. And so I wanted to get myself a, another fountain pen that I wasn't so precious about. Um, so while in Germany, in um, Heidelberg, where there's a Lamy store, I popped in there and my mom, brother, and brother bought fountain pens and I couldn't decide on which one I wanted. So I didn't get it there, um, but came home and immediately ordered this charcoal Lamy Safari. Um, and this one is not, like I said before, this one is not the original one that I purchased right after coming back from Germany, but I decided afterward that I wanted this pen in extra fine um, instead of fine which is what I originally purchased it in. Um, as you can see, it's inked up with a black ink. Um, and nowadays I mainly use this pen for sketching, for bringing along with me when I don't wanna be super precious with my pen. Um, I 
typically have it filled with um, uh, archive proof black ink so that I can use it for sketching and then watercolor over top of it. Um, but yeah, this is my charcoal Lamy Safari. This is the only Lamy Safari that I have at the moment. Um, I had a couple others, but I have de-stashed them. And so I just have this extra fine. Now, because I'm going through that little green pouch, um, and this is another pin in there, this is a Twisby Eco. Um, it was one of the first ones that I got when I started getting really into fountain pens. Um, I got that Lamy Safari, and then I got a Caveco Sport, I believe, that I don't have anymore, and then I got this Twisby Eco, um, which I still like, like, because it has such a large ink capacity. Um, and it writes really good. Um, it's an extra fine nib. Um, I currently have it inked with, um, ooh, what is it? Diamine's Ancient Copper, and, because it's a good fall color. And yeah, nice beginner fountain pen. The next one that I am gonna talk about today is probably going to be this Caveco Sport that I have. Um, this one is currently inked with something. I don't actually know what this is inked with. That's a problem. It's been inked for a while. I need to empty it. But this one I initially got as, this is not the initial, the second pin that I bought myself. Um, this is a, another one that I got later on with a couple of calligraphy nibs. And I have since replaced the nib. Um, it's currently housing a fine nib. Um, and I have those calligraphy nibs somewhere in storage. Um, but this one's just the clear Caveco Sport. Um, doesn't have a little pen holder on it currently, but it has a, and it doesn't have a converter in it. It just has a cartridge that I refill with a syringe. Um, but yeah, so this is my little Caveco Sport. Um, Continuing on the Caveco line, let's talk about my, one of my favorite pens. This is the Caveco Brass Sport. Um, this one I currently have with an extra fine nib. Um, and it is inked with, currently with Diatramentis Document Brown. Um, and I just love this pen. Um, I love the weight, I love the feel of it and the patina. That it's gotten and I have this bronze clip on it and just like I could gush over this pen for a long time. Um, the only thing I don't like about this pen is that it doesn't write super fine even though I have the extra fine nib in it. I bought it with the fine nib um, but I changed it for the extra fine um, just because I like writing super small. Um, if you've seen my Instagram you know that my writing is pretty small um, and I like the fine nibs. Um, so this one I use more for like journaling and for headings and those types of things, but it doesn't really get in my planning line up. Um, it's currently attached to my schoolwork um, journal and because I'm writing in brown in that at the moment. The next one that I'll show you is another metal pen from Caveco. Um, this one is the Lilliput. Um, this one is also an extra fine. This one I have inked currently with J. Herbin. I can't remember what that ink is called. It's like a pinky red shade. Um, oh, Rouel d'Ancre, I believe. And I just love how small this one is. It's so fun and I love the patina that it's gotten just in the last couple of months since I got it um, back in like March, I believe. Um, and it's just so fun, um, so small. Um, I don't, you can't really tell how small it is from just holding it, but like there it is next to my hand. I have fairly large hands. Um, and here it is next to a passport size traveler's notebook. It's smaller than the passport. And here's a normal pen. Like it's, it's almost half the size of a normal pen. It's so small. Um, but yeah, this is my Caveco Lily book. So I have two Caveco um, AL Sports. Um, these are 
I love both of these. I just haven't used them in a while because I have gotten a couple of gold nibs that I've been using a lot. Um, but these are really fun. Um, they're a little bit lighter than the brass sport, but they still have the, um, like they write nice, nicer than the plastic sports. I don't know why, but I like my metal sports so much more than the plastic sport. Um, and it, these are just both so fun because the colors are so pretty and they're like soft. I don't even know how to describe it. They both have different textures. You can sort of see, but this one's really soft and this one's really smooth. Um, this one is a little bit like more textured and this one's just like shiny and smooth and like slippery almost. Um, but they're very different textures and it's very interesting to have the same pin and have such different textures. I've heard that that's the case with like the other AL sports, but yeah. So these are my two vintage pins. Um, this one is my favorite of the two. This one is unknown origin. <laughs> um, I got this one from a vintage pin store online. I don't remember where it was. Um, which store exactly, but um, it's a um, Schaefer Balance from the 1920s, so about 100 years old, and I just love this pen. It writes beautifully. I believe it's a gold nib. Um, it, it's not currently inked with anything, but like, look at how pretty it is. I don't use it as much as I'd like, um, mainly because it has a little bit of a leak and my fingers get the color of the ink, um, but it's one of my favorite pens. Um, I love it so much. And then my other vintage pen is this Domino, I believe is the brand. I don't know what the model is, but it's this like piston filler um, in size four. I don't know if that means anything to anyone, but if you know anything about this pin, let me know. I got it off Etsy and the seller didn't really tell me much information, um, but it's from the 70s. Um, I love the 70s, I love purple. Um, I was really into purple inks when I got this one. Um, and so I wanted a pin to match. Um, and yeah, I like this pin too. It's just really bold in its writing. It's like a medium bold nib and I don't have any other nibs that bold. Um, and so it doesn't get as much right. I don't write with it as much as some of my other pens um, just because it's bolder, but yeah, I still like it. I love all of my pens, just as a, by the way, I feel like that meme, the, I love all of my children, but X is my favorite. Um, but really, I love all of my pins. I've de-stashed the ones that I don't love as much. Um, and here we are. Um, I just have the ones that I love. So this is um, Noodler's Ahab um, in the color green. I don't remember what Noodler's calls it, um, but it's a flex nib. You can probably see how it like, um, you can't see how it writes, but you can see how it slit all the way down and it just writes beautifully. Um, maybe I'll intersperse some clips of me writing with this pen. Um, I have this inked with um, Diamine's Ancient Copper again, because I love this color for fall. Um, yeah, so this is my only flex nib, but I'd like to get more because this one's so fun. My favorite um, iconic Pilot Vanishing Point in Extra Fine. It's got this little retractable nib. Love that for planning. I love how thin this one writes, um, and it's just so tiny, so cute. Um, I carry this around with me everywhere. I use it all the time. You've probably seen it in my Instagram photos um, because it just like, it comes with me everywhere. Um, and it's like my planning tool. Um, so that's my Pilot Vanishing Point. And then I also recently, recently as in the last week, got this um, Pilot Vanishing Point Decimo um, in the color navy. And it's also in the extra fine nib. Um, it's just a bit lighter and a bit thinner. Um, and I just wanted to try the Decimo. 
um, and I wanted to have an extra pin that was this thin. Um, and I thought about getting a steel nib for this one, but I ended up getting the gold nib because I love the gold nib. Um, and so I got this one from Goulet Pins recently and I love it. Um, I still like the vanishing point a little bit better, but this one's nice and lightweight, but um, I like this one a lot. I think I've just fallen in love with my vanishing point. Last but not least are my two sailors. So I love both of these. Um, I love my sailors so much. Oh wait, these aren't last. I forgot about my other one. Um, but anyhow, I love my sailors. Um, these are both um, sailor pro gear fine or pro gear slims in medium fine. Um, they are both beautiful pens. I have them both inked with Sailor Shikiori inks. Um, they are just gorgeous. I have this green one um, and then this blue one and I got both of them off of Amazon um, because they were both fantastically priced. They were both under a hundred dollars each. Um, I think this one was 60 or 70 and this one was like 80. Um, and if you know anything about sailors, you know that they tend to sell for like really expensive prices. And I was felt so lucky to find these two um, at such a great price with the gold nib and everything. And then last but not least, I forgot about it because it's hiding not in my normal pin cases, is the one pin that I hold in here. Um, so the pin that I hold in here is my Lamy 2000. Um, and this one is one of the stars of the show. I love it so much. Um, it's currently inked with uh, Sailor Shikiori Tea Green Brown. Um, I have it in a fine nib. Funny story about this one. I ordered it in extra fine. It came in fine. I was debating between fine and extra fine. And I guess the store decided for me because I wanted to find, I decided on fine after all. And then or I decided on extra fine after all, and the store sent me a fine. And so instead of returning it, I just settled with fine. Um, and I use it a ton for journaling. Um, it's a little bit thicker nib than I like, but it works great for journaling. Um, it's a little bit thicker than the medium fine from Sailor. Um, but yeah, this is the last but not least fountain pen. Um, for the moment, I am really happy with the collection that I have currently. Um, I don't feel the need to add anything else to my collection, um, because I feel like I have a good range of things and I don't have any other pens that I'm like craving to get, but if I get anything else anytime soon, but I'm loving my collection so far. Um, I love fountain pens and yeah. If you like this video, make sure to like and com give me a comment as to what your favorite fountain pen of the moment is and subscribe to see more videos because I will be posting more regularly on here. Um, and if you have any video requests or suggestions, leave them here or send me a DM on Instagram and I will make sure to get those out. Talk to you soon. Bye.